One of the best moments of the Star Wars series is when Anakin's redemption is made manifest by his transformation into a Force ghost. We know that Obi-Wan often contacted Luke, offering advice or help. Did Anakin Skywalker do the same thing? That's what we'll be talking about today. Hey guys, this is Eckhart Slatter. Hello and welcome to another episode of Star Wars Legends Lore. Today we are talking about Anakin Skywalker's appearance as a Force Ghost after Return of the Jedi. And again, this is strictly Star Wars Legends only. I actually have a clip of a cancelled 1994 Star Wars Legends project which would have shown Darth Vader appearing as a Force Ghost. Luke. You have forgotten me. No. How could I? You must take your place in the, the Force. Remember who you are. You are my son and the one true Jedi Knight. Remember who you are. Sorry, wrong Disney property, wrong James Earl Jones character. My mistake. Anyway, on to the real content. Force ghosts were actually used fairly often in the Star Wars Legends Expanded Universe. Heir to the Empire, which is not only the first book in the Thrawn trilogy, but also the first post-Return of the Jedi book in the Star Wars Expanded Universe, had the ghost of Obi-Wan appearing before Luke Skywalker in one of the very first chapters. And not only did he appear, but he also gave concrete information to Luke, telling him that unexpected allies were in his future, referencing of course, his eventual partnership with Mara Jade. But let's return to the question at hand. Did Darth Vader, or now Anakin Skywalker, appear? And specifically, did he appear before his children to offer advice as Obi-Wan did? Yes, he did. In fact, only a few days after the Battle of Endor and his death, Anakin Skywalker appeared before his daughter during the book The Truce at Bakura. I was actually just yesterday rereading this book for the first time in about 10 years, which is where I got the idea for this video. During the Bakura invasion, Anakin appears before Princess Leia and asks to be redeemed. Leia, who still remembers not only the destruction of Alderaan and being tortured, but also the torture of Han on Cloud City, is totally unable to forgive her father, despite his repentance. He warns her that his time within the mortal plane is limited. She doesn't care and tells him to dematerialize and go away. Anakin says that he will do so. He asks her to apologize to Han for him and says that although he may not be able to appear in the future, if she ever needs him, just call and he will be listening. Aside from that, Anakin would appear several other times, although I still think that this one is one of the most notable. He was present in one of the early 80s Star Wars Marvel comics, although whether that was canon even in Legends is up for debate. He also appeared before Jason Solo during the Yuuzhan Vong arc in the book's Balance Point and the Unifying Force. Other than that, given that he was the Chosen One and one of the most important Force users in Star Wars history, Vader appeared at various times both before and after his death in vision form. So the answer is yes, Vader did at time appear before his children and other descendants in order not only to help them, but also to complete and make public his redemption. The same has not happened in canon, Skywalker has made no appearances as a force ghost besides for the one in Return of the Jedi, at least that we know of, perhaps he's spoken to Luke or Kylo at some point. This may be one of the reasons why Leia by the time of the Bloodlines novel still does not accept her father's redemption. Compare this with Legends where just 10 years after the Battle of Endor, she's named a son after him. Anyway guys, that's all for today. Thank you very much for checking out this extra short Star Wars Legends lore video. As a note, this is short because I'm working on a collaboration with Space Dock for tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. As always, may the Force be with you. Bye.